All fan bases are shit in one way or another. I don't really understand why people can't just casually enjoy something without committing to a fandom, but it happens. And it's always fun to ridicule, insult, and point and laugh at people who are different to us. Remember that the subjects I'm talking about here do not necessarily reflect my opinion on what the fandom is based around, and the majority of these people are a complete vocal minority. But either which way, let's take a look at the five worst, in my humble opinion, fan bases that grace us on this oh-so-fine internet where we all dwell. So I've numerically categorized and ranked these under three main rules. One, by my personal experiences with each fan base. Two, with how many results the fandoms match on rule 34, and how quickly you cringe when you search for it on DeviantArt. And three, I don't know, my own personal opinion, leave me alone. Number five. Gamers. Not only are the majority of gamers massively entitled assholes, but they are arguably one of the fandoms that is the most far removed from what they claim to like in the first place. You only have to look at the comments on IGN or various gaming channels to find endless streams of fanboy wars, master race rants, complaining about things that make no sense to complain about, and just generally be rancid and dismissive to anyone and everything. Some gamers will actively go out of their way to find comment boards or articles about things they know they don't like, just to belittle it so they can feel justified in the purchase they made, because chances are they're 10 years old and still care what system they play games on for some reason. Obviously I can't include this in the Rule 34 search because it would win by a landslide because of how broad it is, but I thought that the entire gaming fandom is bad enough to warrant a mention in this list. Number 4. Anime. I don't know or care enough about any anime in particular to feature just one of the many obsessed fan bases. Maybe you can tell me the specific worst ones in the comments, but I've witnessed how anime can warp and destroy a person first hand with James. Over the years, he's gradually devolved as a human thanks to weird shows like Baku no Pingu, Bible Black, and other weird shit that he decided to ironically watch. He is now so obsessed with anime culture that he's recently started buying statues and multiple Spice and Wolf novels he's never going to read, as well as a hentai collection that spans across 4,000 plus pictures. Oh, not to mention the fact that 4chan started out as a place to discuss anime and mangoes. And look how that turned out. Number three, Sonic the Hedgehog. When you search for Sonic on DeviantArt, you don't even need to scroll down before you cringe. It continues to baffle me that anyone above the age of six cares about Sonic the Hedgehog. I said earlier that it's supposed to be about the fandoms and not about the subject itself, but I'm sorry, I, I just hate Sonic the Hedgehog so fucking much. The endless amount of badly written fanfiction, the continuous stream of atrocious original characters and artwork, and at the time of recording this, the tag Sonic Team has over 19,000 results on Rule 34, and Sonic has over a million and a half results on deviant art. It's gone far beyond the point of hilarity, beyond the point of parody even. Just the mere idea makes me wretch and writhe and utter disgust of how fucking stupid it is. I guess it's not all bad though, because it was a Sonic fan that did create the phrase assaholic bitch for us all to enjoy. Number two, my little fucking pony. What am I even supposed to say at this point? Look, the show aside, I trust that even casual fans who enjoy it can at least respect how uh, peculiar the extreme My Little Pony community is. The support and obsession with every possible aspect imaginable is truly flooring, turning everything that exists or has existed into an OC pony. Original fiction, costumes, clopping, it never ends! And I almost don't want to say the number of results on Rule 34. I guess I have to. It's over 68,000. 68 fucking thousand. Are you fucking kidding me? It nearly has the same numbers as Sonic on DeviantArt, and the fandom is far younger in comparison with how long it's existed. It's even so popular at this point that it's earned its own board on 4chan for people to discuss pony things, or whatever they do. I'm not judging, but... No, no, I am. I, I totally am. It's very weird. It's very, very weird. Number one! Five Nights at fucking atrocious fandom. Jesus Christ, can we shut up about Five Nights at Freddy's already? Hey, that rhymed. Everywhere on the internet you go, everywhere, you will find something related to Five Nights at fucking Freddy's. You already know how I feel about the games themselves, but that's not the problem here. When you look at how the fandom has taken something inherently creepy and scary and gradually neutered it down, and neutered it down, sexualized it, humanized it, it's just not scary anymore. Why people feel the need to cutesify murderous animatronics, I'll never know. And there may be fewer results on DeviantArt and Rule 34 compared to some of the previous entries on this list, but what seals the deal for me is how quickly this has happened. Not even one year into the franchise being created and every single angsty, edgy teenager and child on the internet have thrown themselves into Freddy's murderous grip. And instead of the horrible child murders and creepy backstory being the frightening thing, it's the future of what this fanbase is going to do that scares me. This is only the beginning. I'm 
sure the growth is going to be exponential as time goes on, turning an already hideous fanbase into something worse, if that's even possible. <laughs> So that was my list of the five worst fan bases of 2015. I only put a year in there because I assume it would change as time goes on, with things like Five Nights at Freddy's cropping up and taking the internet by storm all of a sudden. So what do you think? Do you agree or disagree with my list? What would your list be? And what other fan bases do you think deserved a spot or didn't deserve a spot? Tell me in the comments below. And remember to be civil. I don't really care if you like Sonic the Hedgehog or FNAF. That isn't what the video is supposed to be about anyway. So as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you check out my other videos and Q&A channel Jar Media for more. I'll see you next time. Bye!